Review's cloud-based collaboration solution, Bluebeam Studio, enables you to work digitally and concurrently with project partners on the same documents. Included in Review, Studio allows you to securely manage projects digitally from start to finish, anywhere, at any time. Studio is made up of two components, projects for hosting files and folders in the cloud, and sessions for real-time collaboration. Studio Sessions replicates a conference room environment, so instead of marking up paper drawings and collaborating with your architect, owner, and subcontractors in a physical conference room, you can actually upload the drawings to the cloud using Studio Sessions and collaborate with the same people in a digital environment. Studio Sessions allows for multiple reviewers to mark up the same documents at the same time or on their own time while ensuring that each reviewer's comments are secure and cannot be modified or deleted by anyone else. To access Studio Projects and Sessions, click Tab Access and select Studio, or click this icon. When you access Studio for the very first time, you'll be prompted to create a login. I've already created one, so I'll type that in here. Click here to tell Review to remember your password. Once you're logged in, you can start or join either a session or project right away. The panel is separated into two parts so that you can quickly identify the projects and sessions that you have hosted or attended. Here's the session I'm hosting, and here's the session's unique ID code. Review allows for up to 500 attendees to join a single session and allows you to upload as many as 100 documents at 100 megabytes each. And as a licensed review user, you can invite project partners to access and collaborate in Studio even if they don't own a license at Review. All they need to do is download Vue, our free PDF viewer on their PC or iPad, and join the session you invite them to. Then they'll be able to access all the features of Studio within that session, at no cost. To learn more about Vue, check out our website. Click here to add more attendees to the session. From your address book, from groups you've already set up, or by typing in their email addresses. Once you're in a session, you can immediately start adding markups to the document or drawing at hand. You can customize your markups to make them more uniquely yours, or use custom tools you've already added to your tool chest. You can add markups on one section of the document while your team members are making their comments elsewhere. Since you're all accessing the document from the cloud, not a streaming video of someone's screen, you're not all locked into the same view on your devices. You can move freely to wherever you need to go on the documents. The record tracks all the activity in a session and allows you to chat with the attendees. It even records the attendees' location on the PDF when they added that markup or made that comment. You can even leave the session and come back, and you'll still be able to see everything that's happened. Click here to filter what information you see in the record and focus in on what's most important to you. You can also follow along with another attendee's movements and markups in real time. Just click the footprints next to their name. Here you can change your status so that team members will know what you're up to at any time in the session. Attendees can see this status even after you leave the session. So if you're going out of town for a few days, you can let them know not to expect any responses until you return. 
As I mentioned before, attendees will not be able to edit or move other attendees' markups, which is great for accountability. If you'd like to respond to a markup, right-click and select Reply, or open the markups list and reply to the markup there. The markups list, as you can see, tracks all the markups that are added to the PDF. If you added a custom column to a PDF before uploading it to the session, it will be found here. You won't be able to add custom columns after a file is in a session, so make sure to plan ahead. Right-click a markup, and you can alert another attendee that it needs attention. You can even select multiple markups to notify them about, or select multiple people to notify. The alerts will show up in the record for everyone in the session to see. And when those alerted sign into Studio, they'll see a list of alerts in their notifications tab. They'll also receive an email letting them know that they've been alerted. And there'll be a number here on the session in Studio showing them that they have notifications that need attention. As you can see, I have one unread notification. Notifications you haven't read yet will be bolded. Click an alert and it'll be taken to that markup on the PDF. As you go through them and address what needs to be addressed, you can dismiss your alerts and they'll disappear from the list. By default, only session hosts can send markup alerts to attendees, but if you'd like to give others this ability in your session, you can change this under Settings, Permissions. Here you can address permissions for all attendees or a select attendee or group of attendees. You can also restrict user access over here if you'd like. If you keep this box checked, then only the users you list here can access this session. If you've invited attendees, they'll be automatically listed as allowed users, so you won't need to type them in again. Back in the markups list, there's a column I want to bring to your attention, the status column. The only aspect of your markups that someone else can edit is each markup status, and that's a good thing. If you're on a punch walk and find an electrical issue that needs fixing, and you assign that to your electrical subcontractor, you're going to want to know when she's addressed that issue. Well, she can tell you very simply by changing the status here. And when she does that, you'll see her name and the date appear next to the status. Right now, you see mine since I changed the status. The status of a markup can be changed as many times as necessary by anyone in the session, and all those changes will appear here. You can sort and filter the markups by status, or by any column. As we've discussed, Studio is a cloud-based collaboration feature. But if you ever need to go offline for a certain amount of time, you can use Studio's offline mode to continue marking up session documents. If you lose your internet connection unexpectedly while in a Studio session, Studio will automatically switch over to offline mode. You can also do this manually. While offline, you can continue adding your comments and markups. You'll then notice the comments and markups show up in your pending tab, reminding you that your changes are not online yet. When you go back online, your pending changes will be added to the session documents, and your team will be able to see your comments. Other things you can do in offline mode are select documents to upload, mark up those new documents, and send alerts. Again, these will not impact the studio session until you go back online. At any time during a studio session, you can generate a report of all session activity. Go to the record and click this button. Choose record summary to create a PDF file containing only the contents of the record. Choose PDF package report to create a PDF package containing the record summary and all the documents from the session. 
choose Combined Files Report to create a single PDF that contains the record summary and all the documents in the session. Also at any time during a session, you can opt in or out of receiving email notifications when documents are added or removed, or someone's status is changed. Go to the session settings and click Manage Notifications. Here you can adjust your notifications for the selected session, or adjust your account preferences as a whole. Click here to manage the notifications for other individual projects or sessions. By default, notifications are turned on for sessions and projects you are hosting. You can also opt in to receive a daily email that includes all studio activity for any project or session you're subscribed to. To completely close and finish a session you're hosting, select Finish. Here you can choose to save the documents from the session, overriding the original versions of the files, or saving them in a new folder. You can also generate a report and adjust the settings here. Or you can also choose to not save the files. And that's it. We went over the basics of Studio Sessions, a tool that enables you to work digitally and concurrently with project partners on the same documents from across the office or across the globe. To learn more about Studio Projects, our simple document management system in the cloud, visit bluebeam.com/studio. Thanks for watching and go get 'em bluebeamers.